Surprise, surprise, Facebook has made another change. And this one's actually really important for you to pay attention to because how you use your Facebook page is gonna be completely different going forward. As Facebook has evolved away from being Facebook into the metaverse, we need to make sure that you know exactly how to use your page, manage it, and also some really awesome new features that you might not be aware of. Take action now. Hi, my name is Desiree. You're looking to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell below. Now, before you do anything when it comes to Facebook and business, you need to make sure that you have a really good content plan. So make sure you grab my free content planning worksheet that I have for you down in the description below. So let's head over to the desktop where I'm gonna show you what it looks like, how to navigate, and the new feature that I told you about that's super cool. So when you wanna go to the page you wanna to switch to, you have a couple of different options. You can go here to pages and you can select a page that you manage from over here on the far left-hand side. I have selected my personal brand Facebook page. And as you can see, there's no way for me to organize or utilize this page. Like I cannot post as uh, the business page. I cannot do anything. What I do have to do is go down here to, to switch into Desiree's page and start managing it. So in order for me to do anything like change names, make posts, check analytics, anything like that, I have to switch. So I'm gonna hit switch now and it's gonna take me to this updated interface. So as you can see in here, now I can do things like post stuff. Um, I have the ability to see my data, my information here a little bit differently as you can in the other page. But what's really interesting is that I still can do much in here like I could before. So what I'm gonna to need to do is go to manage. And once I enter manage, then I can see the professional dashboard that they have in place where I can do all the things. Now before this whole side of the screen, this was where you would have things before, like you'd have the page over here and all this would be on the side and they have completely removed that. So I get this nice, you know, 28 day snapshot. And basically I'm kind of seeing this like analytics slash like summary of what's happening in the page. And then I have all of my settings over here on this side. I can view my page um, insights to an extent in here. I have my post options where I can create posts, see which ones are doing well, which ones, um, like how many views I've gotten in the last 90 days, all that stuff. I can see who my audience is in here. Just these really brief snapshots um, of what is going on. So what I think is important to look at when we're seeing this is that we can't see anything from insights. We can't see any of the analytics information. We can't see really anything about Facebook um, ads and stuff. This is just an overall thing. As you can see down here at the bottom, we have this redirect that we can do where we can go to the meta business suite. This is where the back end of your Facebook page really can take shape. So this is the number one thing to remember about this is this is really where your ads manager is going to sit. We still have things that are available to us here like notifications. We can see what's going on in our inbox if we have any messages from people that we wanna manage before they would have all been in here, they're not here anymore. So we have our messaging in here. We have our posts and our stories. So this is where we could create a post, we could create a story and schedule it out from in here. Um, so that's a whole thing. Commerce, if like you have a Shopify page or an e-commerce store, this is where you would set that up in here. Planner, which is where you can like see a calendar of like what's going on, what you have scheduled in here through the week, which again, you can just create your posts and schedule it out. Um, and then we have our ads and we have our insight. This is where we can see how our page is doing, like how our instance, since I have my Instagram linked to this page, I can kind of see what's happening with both. So I have this overall look that I have here. So I have how much my page page reach has been, what's my Instagram reach been like, you know, how my audience is responding, how many Instagram followers I have. So I can really see what's happening. I can go to my results, get my breakdowns much better about how things are going. I can go into my content see which content is doing well or not well. I can go boost if I want to. And again, I can study my audience as well. For an alternative to being able to use all of this stuff, um, I can go check out the Facebook Creator Studio if I wanna dive more into this. But they're really trying to migrate a lot of things over into the Facebook um, Meta Business Suite, the Meta Business Suite, and getting away from like the whole Facebook thing um, and diving more into like what is happening um, here. So again, this is like where we're at from a desktop perspective when it comes to our page. So we can see things going again. We always have this option to create a post while we're over here. This would just post to our feed directly. If we wanna do a story or post something um, to our Facebook page or something, we can do that over here. Just gotta go into like our planner. 
we can hit create and then we can dive into whichever platform it is that we want to be posting to. It's important to note that you cannot post a reel through here. You can do stories though now, which is a really uh, nice add on that we had didn't have in the past. So what's really nice though about this new page is that you can interact as a brand in the same identical way that you can as an individual. So I can follow individual pages and interact with them and see what's going on and post stuff. I can go search for, for people. So like I can go over here and I can see like, where is Molly? What does she have going on? I can see that she's a person. I could follow her if I wanted to as a page. I can comment on here and say, you know, this looks amazing. And then my page is, is commenting on this profiles page as well. I can go hit this home button anytime and it takes me to a feed where I can interact with these different brands. There's a couple of different things to note when you're doing here that's really helpful for you when it comes to growth. You can be commenting on these Facebook pages as your page, which will increase your reach, which will increase what you're doing. So we have this one here. We can hit the like button and we can comment, you know, this was such a great episode. And then it, my comment is going to be here as me, um, as my profile account versus me as an individual, right? So I'm trying to separate out what's happening on my profile and versus what's happening on my page. So this would really allow for you to have the opportunity to cr interact and engage on Facebook as a page versus as a profile, it's like you're trying to have that hard separation of things. So you can just go find things to interact with. You can go find other pages that you might be interested in. There might be different ones. You can go over here to discover and I can find these different pages that the brand might be interested in based on the topics and the things that they're posting and that they are doing. You know, we have a lot of options. This is a really cool way to use Facebook in a way that is different than it has been in the past where like, a page is just kind of this thing versus what you can do here is make it this living, breathing, almost person account and, and do more, and interact with them more. You can even go into groups. You can go to pages. So many awesome things that you can do in here that you weren't able to do before. And I can always go back to my page. And when I am ready, I want to switch back. I can go click on my self at the right corner and click on my account. And it's going to switch me back to my normal Facebook friend profile, and I am ready to get back to Facebook business as usual. To keep up with more tutorials and little things on how you can do them within Facebook, I want you to pay attention to this playlist right here where I have a whole bunch of really great things to help you out along your way. And watch this video right here because YouTube thinks you are really going to like it. And until next time, I'll see you soon.